Hello all. So I'm pretty sure everybody knows about it. <laughs> I was traveling, but yes. So Business Central 26 or 2025 release wave one previews are out, right? Now this is a very common question that's been asked in the past. So let's let's briefly understand what these preview versions are. So normally a month before major update, this time they delayed it for whatever reasons. Uh, everybody can try out new functionality into the preview environments of Business Central. Now this is only cloud. So if you are on-prem, sorry, but the preview environments are only available on the cloud. So they, they kind of become available a month before the major releases. Uh, preview environments, you can create a new environment. You can create a new sandbox, only sandbox environment on Business Central Admin, uh, Admin Center. And the it'll be tagged as preview when you go into the version selector. So then you can set up the environment. Now there are certain things that you need to remember. <clears throat> now if you are working on and let's say on an up upgrade or an implementation which is going live let's say next month, right? And you haven't set up the production environment yet, or you might may want to rebuild the production environment make sure that you set up or keep a sandbox environment with the prior version where the customer have tested everything because once the major versions will be out you will not be able to create a older version environment in cloud so like in april first week when version 26 will be released uh, there will be no option to create a version 25 on business center cloud now it's good to always have your customers or if you are a customer to stay on the latest version but i think that if you have tried and tested and verified your processes on a prior version you should be going live with the same version and then you know in a in a period of a month or two you can surely plan your upgrade to version 26 in this case so uh, a reminder for every partner or uh, and customers who are using uh, who have been testing on version 25 right now that if you are planning to go live in in a month or so or you know uh, somewhere in mid april ish then make sure that you have an empty plain sandbox with your localization so that then you can create a new production by copying that sandbox otherwise that that'll cause a lot of problems for you now coming back to the preview versions so what happens it becomes available uh, it remains uh, available till the major release and then after a period of time these environments are automatically deleted so it's recommended to not to have your you know actual data into these preview environment these are just for testing of new functionality and training and giving feedback back to Microsoft based on what you learned if there are certain things which are not working and there are certain things which are working or not. So let's, we'll keep talking about it, but let's go into and see how you create a preview environment if you haven't created it yet. So you head up to your admin center. Uh, if you don't know how to head up to your admin center, uh, what you can do is log into your business central <coughs> environment where you have access and you need to have the rights to kind of get into the admin center or not from the gear icon you can choose admin center which will take you to the admin center once you are here you can click on new which gives you possibility to create a new environment now you should have an empty slot available in the list of environments that you have so that you can create a preview environment now here you need to provide an environment name. Let's say I say BC26 uh, preview. I don't have to write it, but and let's say IN for India. As I said, you can only create sandboxes for it. Then you need to choose your country uh, for which you would like to set up this environment. In the version selector, by default, the current released version will be selected, but you can surely go back and choose a. Uh, from the selection menu you can choose the preview highlighted one with the preview highlighted one it will give you the latest functionality uh, to test out now make sure that these preview versions are for testing and review the environments may be updated to a newer preview version or deleted without notice the environment cannot be updated to a production environment 
it must remain in preview until it is deleted so you cannot move it copy it to be a production environment okay now once you say yes the process starts and as you can see my second one uh, which is a us version of bc26 preview you can notice on the version that it says word preview here so it will surely come in as preview for the new one that i'm creating so this way you kind of set it up <clears throat> now what's in there for developers now all the apps that we build for our customers either for app source or pertinent extension we need to review at least from a code perspective and especially in version 26 because there's a lot of cleanup happening in this version and if you haven't seen the video about the first jump version go ahead and watch it the link will be in the description there is a lot of cleanup that ha happened in version 26 of all the deprecated functionalities and, and <clears throat> tables and field so there's a lot of cleanup that happened in version 26 so you surely need to verify that your apps are still compatible with version 26 and that's where the preview versions come handy so that you can test it out so validate your extension review your functionality if you have automated test set up dockers run out your tests check that everything is working as expected and be ready for april because that's where the version 26 will be released test out new functionality if you have customers who would like to explore what's coming new like the agents like the new ai features which are part of the version 26 test them out in the preview releases and at the same time it's important that you need to provide the feedback back to microsoft if you find something good if you found some problems and you can do it via Viva Engage uh, on the Business Central Public Preview Group. I'll add the link for that public preview group in the description and in the pinned comment. Go ahead and see how people are learning about the new features and what challenges, if there are any, what they are facing. Uh, if there are bugs, there is a uh, fixed URL which you can utilize to submit the preview bugs and Microsoft will be started kind of looking at it and fixing them So what happens is now you, I have set up the preview for India and US right now So what I'll be doing is I'll be exploring functionalities in business Central 26 now Action item for you. I'll be exploring them top to bottom uh, whatever I feel is important or whatever I feel is interesting I'll put this link into the comments and you need to tell me which of these features you think I should be recording also while I'm learning so I'll be going through most of these or all of these if if time permits but if there is something that is interesting for you or that you think oh what does this feature does make sure to add that into the comments and I'll make sure that the video is recorded when I'm kind of exploring that feature right the only reminder here is to make sure that you only put items which have general availability around April because those will be part of preview like there's one interesting feature um, which is that you can update your sandbox environment to preview version and I wanted to do that in this one but look at the timeline. This will be available in September. That means in the next uh, wave, when the preview environments will be available, I can actually upgrade my sandbox environment to the preview environment to test out features and, and my compatibility and all. So look into this list. This is available again on the pinned comment and the description. And let me know into the comments that which one of these makes sense to you. I have already started exploring some of these. But I'll continue doing that and if you are interested in any of those uh, titles uh, let me know into the comments and I'll be happy to kind of record that also. At the same time Microsoft is, will be officially announcing the launch event which Microsoft does with every release so we sh surely should attend that but if we can explore before that we'll have a better understanding and better uh, utilization of time during Q&A with Microsoft team. So what you're waiting for, go ahead, look at the list, what you find interesting and let me know into the comments. Now, you know the real, if you think this is useful, if you know a friend who would like to explore one of the feature, share it with them. 
and they can add the comment and I'll be happy to kind of record that video. If you have questions, queries around preview versions or any other things, let me know into the comments. Should we still do the upgrade videos? I know there is some demands around some specific uh, localizations and regions that I should be doing an upgrade video. Don't worry, you will have an upgrade video for that localization. And if you haven't, then hit the subscribe icon and stay connected to all the things that are happening in this channel, which is a lot now because of the new release. And if you, we are open for business, if you have any business related queries, reach out to us at info at ethiteconsulting.com and we'll be happy to help. So with that, with the short video, let's stop it and let's start exploring version 26. And I'll see you sooner than later in the next video. Till then, keep sharing and keep learning whatever you're sharing. Keep learning and keep sharing whatever you're learning. Thank you. Have a nice day.